All right, welcome back. So um, this is my second tutorial on the Ableton and Touch Designer connection. And in this one, I'm going to show you a very simple start. So um, we're going to I just have a kick here as a MIDI, uh, like in a drum rack as MIDI note. And it's just uh, yeah sending data over to, to Touch Designer and then we're basically mapping the velocity of the kick to the circle size. So um, yeah, I've already created like a little project here. Can ignore that for now. We just we just need the kick, um, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna make a new project. And uh, yeah, so I guess you should have watched the the setup video before this. So the first one on TDA Ableton, and and then you can just start right right away. So I'm gonna start with um, here like Ableton, uh, the p the palette on the side. So there's TDA Ableton, and then there's the TDA Ableton package, and I'm just gonna drag and drop that in here. And yeah, there's this red cross, but it should disappear after a few moments and <coughs> now I'm just gonna dive right into the package here and then you see all these uh, operators in here for now we're only interested in the Ableton MIDI um, yeah, <laughs> uh, in the Ableton MIDI comp so just I'm just gonna drag that over here and drag everything else away and also yeah. All right. So um, here on the Ableton MIDI, you can select the tracks of your um, of your uh, Ableton project. So I have kick keys and, and an audio track. So I, I want the kick um, kick track for now. And um, I'm just gonna delete this because you don't have it yet. I mean, you can just drag that in there, but you could also on here select the track, and then tr press pulse, and then you can see it creates a TD TDA MIDI here. All right, cool. So now when I play this, you can see that there is um, yeah the corresponding um, value coming in here. So it goes from 0 to 127, so it's the velocity. If I um, select them with Alt, um, turn all of these down, then you can see it only goes to 11 now, as you can see here if you press Alt. I can just drag that up again, and yeah. So um, I'm gonna... It doesn't seem necessary right now. But I'm gonna use a select here to really make sure I only get that note. So I just select that note. Uh, sometimes there is more information there. Um, for example, if I no, okay, whatever, just do that. <laughs> and um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, normalize this value. So I'm do that. I do that with a math because uh, the uh, the value, as I said, is going from zero to 127 right now. And it's easier to work with a value that is normalized between 0 and 1. So on the math, I just type 127 here. And then reset min max. Uh, so we can see this nicely. All right. Now um, I'm going to attach this to another math and come back to that in a second. First, I'm going to create the um, top circle now. So just on the tops drag a circle or like, uh, yeah put a circle here and on the common page now I'm gonna change the resolution to something higher and um, connect this to null put a transform in here just to make the background black so put the alpha to one turn this on and turn the display on okay so pause this for a second so as you can see here in the circle the radius is 0.4 right now and if I turn this down like 0.1 is about the maximum that I want 
So now on the map, I'm gonna change the range here from 0 to 1 to 0. Point, um, no, just 0 and 0 0.1. Alright, now I'm gonna select a circle, make this view active, and drag this onto the radius. Say chop reference. And now, when I play this, the magic happens. You can see it's mapped. So, um, yeah, that is uh, pretty cool and easy. So on the math 2, I could also make this like 0 0.02. And now it's uh, it's not going away, the circle ever. And to make this a bit smoother, for example, I could drop a filter in here and then um, change the width here to like 0 0.1 or 0.2. And now you can see, um, yeah, it's a bit smoother, the effect. All right, so that's uh, that's all for the kick, and see you in the next one.